Hello and welcome to uh, issues 70 and 71 of Build the Millennium Falcon. I have just woken up. It's a Saturday morning and I am uh, ready this morning to do this build with you guys. Um, yeah, but I am a little sleepy at the moment. Um, no, I don't think I've got any announcements actually this time. Pretty up to date. So uh, let's start this video by looking at what comes in issue 70 and then what comes in issue 71. So in issue 70 then we get this piece here to start off with, probably the uh, biggest single piece that we have had in the entirety of this build. This part is huge as you can see. Again we've got some painted on detail here as uh, with this bit but like I say I will be painting over it when the time comes to paint uh, the top of the falcon. We also get this sprue here with lots of different detailed parts which I'll look at in more data detail when we come to them. And we also get some screws here. And then in issue 71, just open this up here, we get the complementary part uh, to issue 70. We get this part here, which is the last of the um, top plating for the Falcon, at least for the circle main body anyway. We also get this part here, which attaches to the underside just like that. We get lots of magnets. Um, um, yeah, lots of magnets. Oh, different sizes. Well, these are all pretty much the same size. And then there's two. Just hold this here. See two attached there, which are quite small. I guess they go with these pins here. Um, that's what I think anyway. And we get another sprue with more plant on detail parts here. So um, I'm going to do it in order that we get to the magazines. So I'm going to look at this sprue first along with this piece. Uh, let me consult the instructions and then I'll be right back with you. So in issue 70 uh, the first thing we do is a very simple uh, thing indeed. We just get the glue ooh, which is stuck a bit over the time has been since I last used it. Let me just get the excess off here. Ooh, it's starting to go dry. There we go. You just uh, glue the two little pegs on this part here like so. Ooh, it's Getting to the end of its life, I think, this glue part. And then you just swing it round and stick it there, like so, with the grey paint matching the uh the grey the grey paint on the piece matching the grey part paint on the main body. Wow, I cannot talk today. <laughs> Very sorry. Right, so the next part you do is a mirror image of part one. You cut off this part here, off the sprue, and like we had with the um, bottom half version of this piece, these pieces are quite flimsy as you can see, I can bend that quite a lot, which you can't do obviously with the rest of the plastic. So it is for the protection of the model again that these parts are made ever so slightly differently, which again I think is very nice attention to detail by Diagostini. So just swing it round and like I say the mirror image of what we just did. Oh there we go. Pop that in there like so. So now you have that part there and that part there. The next piece is this piece here. Again made of this uh, slightly rubbery material. Makes it quite hard to cut. Uh, this bit's got some sprue parts left over so I'm just going to file that down like so. Get the glue. Dabble, 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 and a bit more for good luck there. And then this piece just fits very nicely onto the edge here. Again, rubbery. Ooh, oh, did you hear that click? It might not have done, but it does click very nicely into place. Let's just have a look at this piece, this piece a little closely. Got like a wheel type thing there. I'm going to have to bronze that up, I feel. And then a few little minimal details on this piece. And actually, this piece as a whole is quite minimal in the sense that it's all piping. Um, lots of pipes doing their jobs um, and lots of kind of dials, I guess. There wouldn't be dials because they'd be too big to turn by hand. But yeah, that's what the detail of that piece is like. I should have done that earlier with the opening. Sorry about that. Okay, the next two pieces again are the mirror, oops, that part fell off, are the mirror of each other. 
so we're really kind of protecting the top part of this. It's not a mandible, is it? Jetty outy part. I don't know the technical word. Um, with more rubbery bits, I'm just going to file these off, which has made them nice and smooth. I'm just adjust the uh, focus here. And then you get your glue and you've got two holes here, one there and one there. Pop a bit of glue on there and a bit more there for good luck again. And uh, let me just get this right. Um, this piece goes on this way. So we just clip in there like so, I think. Is that right? Hmm. My glue is not working, so I'm just gonna go have to work, go away, get some more glue. When I've done that, I will come back and I'll finish off this part. Hey, I am back. I have new glue, which I've just opened. Um, it is amazing how much glue I have gotten through in making this model. It's ridiculous. Um, this must be my seventh now. It just dries up very quickly. Again, mainly it's my fault for not putting the brush on properly every time. But when you're doing a little bit and then putting it on, a little bit putting it on, sometimes you're going to forget to put it on. Um, I've also gone ahead and stuck down these parts here. Now, I had a little issue with these because I was trying to stick them down flush so that every part was flush to this piece. But it's not the case because it actually comes out as a right angle here. You can see there and you can see there. And it doesn't quite attach. Although maybe that's just a gluing issue. It doesn't quite stick down. Can you see that kind of give there? Same with here. It doesn't quite stick down. So it's only meant to stick in these four holes here and then the rest of it is quite um, loose but again yeah i know actually i don't think it is loose i think it's just the rubbery feel of these parts um tricking my brain into thinking it's loose because that is i mean they are secure in so if you come across issues with those two parts let me know um just let you know don't worry they're meant to look like that with that part here which is a nice addition to detail as we said um just a bit unnerving because everything else usually just fits into place straight away first time. Okay, so the next two parts of this build. Again, I mirror images of each other. So I'm just going to file these down. And these parts are exactly the same. There's no difference between them. As you can see, exactly the same there. So it doesn't matter too much uh, which side you put it on. Uh, there's also no plugs or anything with these parts. Just a big flat place um, to stick them in. So you just stick the first one in like so. Oh, do you know what? I've just thought there's a reason why. <laughs> Maybe I didn't need to open that glue just yet. There's a reason why these are harder to stick down and it's because of the texture. Again, the uh, rubberiness of them. It's not plastic on plastic. It's rubbery plastic on hard plastic. So that's probably why I'm having some issues with the sticking. Yeah, uh, just, oops, just dropped some paint there. See, look, they're not sticking properly. All I'm going to have to do, guys, and I, I don't really want to do this, but um, I don't really have a choice. I'm going to have to go away and, um, yeah, most of these parts are, are rubberized as well. I'm going to have to go off camera and stick these on because I don't want, don't want to get it wrong. Um, and then when I've put all these parts on to... Um, here, I'll be right back with you to show you what I did. Okay, it is finished. I'm sorry I had to do that, guys. It's just, um, there's no way of actually, obviously, showing you on the video what the kind of different textures are like and how it affects it. But um, trust me, when you get to this part, or if you're on this part, you will know that these rubber bits uh, are hard to stick on or harder. Um, you know, when you'd be, I've been doing this for... A year and a half now and you kind of get to know the feel of when you're making it and stuff and it just didn't feel right um, because of different parts uh, and the materials they're made of but it is done so i'm just going to quickly just have a bit of a close-up look at what i've done here this part's really nice so i'm probably not going to paint this bit depends how different it looks oops i've got some black paint on it already so i might have to go over it a little bit but i really like the way that that circular kind of turbiney bit um goes over the gray there, all these little details here. I have a feeling that will come up this hole here at a later date, all these parts, um, even these parts here. 
um, you'll see on this piece the semicircle part has to face that way otherwise this part here won't fit into that hole swing around here all these tiny parts especially this part here it overhangs slightly that's the part that you add on and stuff like that I also um, painted up this part kind of a, a darkish brown uh, the circle part before I put this tubing on just to give that texture that'd be very hard to do uh, later not texture depth but you know what I mean um, and that is that part all uh, done which leads actually very nicely onto the parts we get in issue 41 the first one being this part here you just get your glue pop it on the uh, four spokes here uh, pegs plugs whatever you want to call them flip this around I mean just like the bottom of the Falcon it just uh, clips on like so there we go pushes very nicely into place and then you get that front half uh, that front pass I should say all finished with very nice details here which will look great when the weathering is done. Uh, I just realized I didn't paint the bottom half Falcon equivalent of this part. That's still unpainted. So I'm going to have to go away and do that at some point. Um, let me just consult issue 71 then and then I'll be right back with you. Okay, so the first part of issue 71 requires this piece here from this uh, second sprue part. Um, my fingers have come a bit <laughs> desensitized and I'm not sure if this is a rubbery part like we had in the last sprue part or if it's just plastic. I've got a feeling it is rubbery too, so this also might be quite difficult to um, stick down. Uh, this part actually attaches onto these two holes here, like that, with the aid of magnets. You will need these two pins here, magnet pins, and then the tiny ones, which you'll see just at the edge there. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera because... I'm going to lose these magnets if I do. So uh, I'm just going to go away, fix these magnets, and then I'll be right back with you. And I am back with this part all attached. I just take it off. As you can see, the two magnets here and the two magnets there. And they just, it's a very nice uh, magnetic job, just clips on like that. Um, looking ahead to what we're going to do now, I'm not entirely sure why this piece is magnetized. Um, there must be a reason for it. But to me, I just think that might get lost. Uh, maybe it will come clearer as we uh, move on with the build, but at the moment it is magnetized for whatever reason. So there is that, uh, that's that bit all done. The next part then is this part here. As you can see, it's got this squarish uh, rectangular cutout part here, and it's got these pegs here which match with that. And of course, you know what that means? It means more screwing down parts. So I'm just going to go and speed this video up. And there we go, all screwed in. So that is what this piece looks like now that that's done. And this is the removable part, oops, with this bit, that we pull off of the top of the Falcon to reveal the inside uh, interior, which we did a year ago. Um, very, very nice piece, this. Um, it fits together perfectly, as to be expected. Um, these holes here are for the remaining parts of the sprue here, um, which we're well, just gonna go and put them on now. So uh, let me just speed this up again. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry I had to cut that there. I know that I didn't show the entirety of what I was doing, but boy, did this get complicated quick. Uh, this part here, these tubes, I'll take this off. These tubes here 
I mean, it says fit loosely in. I wasn't going to fit this loosely in. No way. That's secure as. Sorry to go against the instructions. And this little random pipe here. You can see that just flicking. Random. Uh, you can see there's got some glue spillage there, which I'm a bit annoyed about. But, you know, this part's in impossible. Especially this little bugger here. Excuse me for swearing. I've said a lot worse um, while I was doing this part. Because that part there is just impossible. You can see I've got major glue spillage and stuff like that. It's, I mean, why didn't they just mold it in? They've done it here. I don't know why that part wasn't because it's so fiddly. And if you think I'm just moaning, no, it is impossible because if you look at the instructions, look, look at the terrible job the person who made the instructions did on this part. There's glue spilling all over the place if it gets in focus. Look at that. Look at that, it's just impossible to do neatly, okay? If you do that part neatly, that part neatly, then you're a better man than I, or woman than I, or girl than I, or whatever. And you have to show me, because that part really got me. Arr! But um, there is just one more piece to do. <laughs> um, I thought I'd leave you something to watch a bit slowed up. Uh, and also, I forgot to do it earlier. There's two holes on the magnetic uh, Y part here. And it got this kind of sun shapey part here with two pegs in. I've just dropped it. Where's that gone? Ah! Okay, I found it. <laughs> I am very sorry um, for the shout of rage there, but it's been frustrating. I'm not going to lie. It's been very frustrating, this part. I was really looking forward to this part as well. It's been very frustrating, but there we go. Um, it's a it's a a passion piece this model isn't it i mean i mean you put your heart and soul into building something like this uh as well as your money and your time so it's bound to get kind of the tempest frayed a little bit at times yes anyway that part is done and you clip it back into the magnetic part just like that and that is what it and that is what it <laughs> and that is what it looks like all done but we are not finished yet oh no We've got all these magnets to fit and attach it to the top of the Falcon. But I need a bit of a breather. And then when I've calmed down a bit, I will be back to finish off the rest of this piece. Okay, so onto the magnets then. Um, at first glance, you might think that these magnets are all the same. Uh, they are not all the same. In fact, if I just take this one off and these off, they're very strong magnets as you can see um these ones are not magnets magnetized to each other at all they are just loose there is no magneticity that's not a word but never mind um whatsoever with these ones these ones these ones in a line um are obviously and then of course you put them over the top get them all magnetized like that so um you have to be very careful when um gluing the magnets into the piece which magnets you use. So much so in fact that these are actually called magnets in the magazine and these are called rollers. So we'll put the rollers for one side for now. I should have said roll the rollers over there for now. Oh, and this one. Um, and we'll attach these magnets. Now, uh, there are specific places where these magnets will go, as to be expected. Here, here, um, and then one, two, three, four, five there. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so I'm just going to go away. Uh, actually, I'm not going to go away. I'm going to speed up video and I'm going to attach these magnets into this part right now. Nope, <laughs> I have changed my mind. I am going to have to uh, go away and attach these magnets off camera because some of them do not fit um, exactly. They do not fit uh, precisely in the hole, so it might require some filing and things like that. So I'm going to go away and do that now, and then I'll be right back with you. Right. <laughs> that, I am so glad that I didn't try and do any of what I've just done on camera, because it was hard work. Okay, uh, let me, uh, where did I leave off? I left off putting the magnets in. Right, okay, so... The magnets, on the most part, fitted fine. These ones here, 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 they fit fine, okay? Um, my problem came to these two here. They did not fit well inside the um, plugs provided. As you can see, I've absolutely butchered that one, trying to file it down to make it fit. 
Um, the issue I had was that when I came to put it on the Falcon like that, there was a sizable gap like there is now because the magnet was not pushed down far enough. So I tried to file it down and I tried to put it back in and glue it down and they have just popped off somewhere and they are in my workspace um, floor, attached to something metal, no doubt. So I've taken the executive decision, or more, the executive decision has been put upon me to uh, not attach these two magnets. Now, as a, it's a bummer because I do want to be this as, uh, model to be as secure as possible, but it doesn't make too much of a difference. Um, what I was going to show you, and I'm sorry I didn't, but I had to just sort it out for myself. Um, the rollers that we had fit into these sockets here and they fit in beautifully. A dab of glue and they push right, right into the framework. Very, very nice indeed, as you can see. Um, and then of course, it's very simple. The magnets roll up with the rollers and you just pop them in there like so. Ta-da! It fits wonderfully. Um, and it fits wonderfully even without these two magnets. Um, you can see there's a little bit of give there. It opens and shuts, so it's not as secure as yours will be. Hopefully you will get um, pieces that uh, are a little better designed. Um, actually, now that I've adjusted that, there's not that much give. But um, yeah, it, it works. It works and it looks fantastic. And overall, it is securely fastened down. You really have to kind of, you know, put all your effort not all your effort in it's not that strong but you really have to put some effort in to get this piece off so i am happy with how it is at the moment on another day when i've had a bit of a rest and i've relaxed a bit i'll try again to fit those magnets into this part but for now it, it all works fine you know it, it fits perfectly it's really strong um it's not going to pop off at any point unlike this bit this part still pops off quite a bit but i'm sure it comes to like why that is magnetized at some point as well um, so that is the end of the video. Um, it came around a lot quicker than I expected. Um, but it's been a very frustrating video, this one. And I am sorry that I have been a bit grumpy and negative, but it's the nature of a build, you know, like I said earlier, you put your heart and soul into something like this. And when it doesn't f work perfectly, especially when you're filming it, and especially when I want to show you guys how to do it and I can't do it, it's very frustrating. So I do apologize for that now, but we are at the end of this video. Um, I hope the next time, the next one will be a lot happier <laughs> um, and that things will run a bit more smoothly. Um, in fact, speaking of next time, we're getting the satellite dish next time. Just a little sneaky spoiler there for you guys. Uh, the quite iconic satellite dish, which got dis gets destroyed or got destroyed in episode six. That's what we're getting next time. So that'll be fun. That would be good, and I hope you will join me for that. I might have um, a little surprise video in between then and now, uh, depending on, on circumstances. That's all I'm going to say for now. Um, but yeah, I will be back in two weeks' time where we look at the satellite dish and whatever comes in the next two issues. So for these two issues, for issue 70, 71, the most frustrating issues ever, I'm going to sign off. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I'll see you next time. So, until next time, take care, bye-bye.